What's good y'all, Runs here. Today's soap review features Katie's Bubbles, Who Did That? Katie's Bubbles made this soap aftershave in EDP exclusively for the Carolinas meetup held in Greensboro, North Carolina this past September. The meetup was well attended and uh, I think most of the participants were happy to be able to purchase this set. There are hopes that this set will be available for the public in the future, so I wanted to give it a review today. Katie's Bubbles is one of the OG artisans in the uh, wet shaving hobbyist community, having been established in 2013. His products are available direct on his website at maggotrazors.com, westcoastshaving.com, and top of the chain if you're in Canada. So Udeda is a green and black tea forward scent with hints of aquatics and floral. As such, this features notes of bergamot, ginger, black tea, green tea, aldehydes, orris root, aquatics, musk, woods, and incense. The resulting fragrance is a delicate yet vibrant accord that is mostly to my nose tea forward. I truly enjoy tea scents and this is one of the most well executed tea scents I've smelt to date. Mrs. Rudd's approves of this scent for casual use. While she doesn't find it sexy enough to wear on a date, she does like it. Scent strength on this is mid-strong out of the container and remains mid-strong throughout the entire shave process. And TryThatSoap.com recommends Talbot Shaving Howick Hall as a comparable scent profile. So this offering comes in the Katie's Bubbles Luxury Soap Base, which was one of the uh, first vegan soaps to bridge the uh, tallow gap, if you will. The soap is of mid firmness and is what I would consider of average thirst. Although ease of lather does not factor into the shave score, I'll tell you that this lather is mindlessly easy to create. Probably one of the easiest lathering soap bases in all of wet shaving. Very hard to screw this lather up. As you do dial it in, it will have the consistency of Cool Whip with a high density, but also a high volume. Slickness on this soap is elite. Probably the uh, slickest vegan offering I've come across to date. And post shave is excellent. When you rinse the lather off, it leaves a soft, silky feeling on your skin and keeps you hydrated. I have lots of experience with Katie's Bubbles, so you'll probably recall the Katie's Bubbles Luxury Soap Base receives a shave score of 95. For similar performing soap bases, I'd suggest you check out First Line Shave 2.0 or Holy Cow's Donkey Milk Formula. Wildly successful face and dome shave this evening with Katie's Bubbles, Udeda. Really enjoy this scent. Uh, performance, as you know, is always a plus with Katie's Bubbles. So do hope this makes a public release in the uh, coming months or perhaps next spring. The scent is just truly amazing. And uh, I would love to see it available for everyone. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.